Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorders web series over HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic, I'll be walking you through this series. Uh, this, in this video we're going to be going over uh, HTML5's new semantic elements for structuring your HTML5 web pages. If you noticed in the last video we went over the div and the span and I showed you how they use those elements before HTML5 uh, to structure their web page. And now I'm going to teach you all actually how to do this uh, using the new HTML5 tags. Uh, these tags, um, the primary ones are the header, the footer, the section, the nav, uh, the side, and the article. Of course, the header is used for all uh, for your header of your web page. The footer is the footer of your web page. A section is more of a general purpose element. Um, the, nav the nav is, of course, for your navigational links for your page. Uh, and a side is usually like a sidebar that is related to the content it is near. Um, uh, and then of course the articles for uh, like a um, composition work like um, a news story uh, something of that nature alright uh, well let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, you'll want to open up a new uh, notepad plus plus document and I'm gonna create a new web page here and I'm gonna go to save as and I'm gonna save mine on my desktop okay and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I forgot to a minute ago. So I'm gonna save mine in a new folder, and I'm gonna call that folder HTML5. And I'm gonna save my file inside that folder, and I'm gonna call it structure.html. Okay, now that I've got my web page uh, created, uh, I'm gonna start off with our doc type. Oop, and I can't type. All right, now I'm going to open and close my HTML. And in the opening, don't forget to add the uh, la language attribute. And I'm going to set mine equal to EN because I am uh, typing this out in English. And then I'm going to close my HTML element. Now I'm going to open and close my head element. And I'm going to do the same with my body. All right. Now I want to go ahead and add a few things to my head element and the first thing we'll add is a meta and I'm going to give it an attribute called character set and we'll set that equal to UTF-8 alright and forgot to close that there, there we go alright now I'm going to give my uh, head element a title element and I'm just going to um, title this HTML5 structure and then we'll go ahead and close that. All right, all right. And as I did last time, I'm going to create a link to a CSS page, um, just to show y'all kind of how everything is flowing. And remember, you don't have to really have to understand the CSS. It is pretty simple. You'll probably pick up on it. But just if you don't, don't worry about it. We'll continue with CSS uh, later on. All right, I'm going to create a link uh, element, and we'll give it a real tag. And I'm going to uh, give it a value of style sheet. All right. Now I'm going to create a href uh, attribute, and I'm going to tell it where to find um, and what file it's looking for uh, for this style sheet. And I'm just going to call mine formatting.css. All right. And I'm going to close that. Now remember um, the formatting.css. Uh, I'm putting it like this because I'm putting the uh, I'm going to be putting the CSS file in the same folder as I put my HTML file. Later on we'll go over how to uh, put files in different folders and such. Alright, that's all I'm going to do in the head right now. Then I'm going to move down to my body and I'm just going to create uh, uh, these uh, new, new tags. Alright, the first one is going to be the header. And Alright, and then I'm going to create... Oops. Uh, let's see, next we can do uh, a nav, close that, uh, next we can do a section, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'm actually going to add an article inside my section, let's say I was placing a news story inside the, in the, uh, this section, this section is kind of going to be about the body, uh, that's what I'm going to use it for and inside that body I'm going to create an article. Uh, I could have more than one section and if I did have more than one section and I wanted to style those differently of course I could add an ID or class to do that. 
Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, now we're going to go ahead and create a, oops, a, a side. Alright, and then lastly, a footer. Okay, we got all those created. I'm just going to add some content really fast to each one. I'm just going to put an H1 up here. Uh, Just gonna put a paragraph really quick that says um, my links. All right, and I'm gonna add a paragraph right here that says I'm also gonna add one right here. And, and those two are going to be outside of the article, and then we'll put something in here that's going to be, in, which will be inside article. All right. Oops. And down here, I'm just going to do a paragraph, and of course, I'm going to do a copy right symbol, and then we'll put. Uh, let's see, geek disorder and I cannot type there we go alright I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna launch this in Firefox alright and as you can see without CSS it, it there's no real division but you can tell oops this right here is my header this is my nav the start of my section this is inside the article this is uh, in the last part of my section this is my side and this is my footer. Let's go ahead and add some CSS. That way y'all can kind of uh, see what's going on. I'm going to go to new. I'm gonna, then I'm going to go to save as. In the same folder with my uh, structure uh, HTML uh, file, I'm just going to create a file called uh, formatting.css. All right. Now here I'm going to uh, add some CSS. Just type what I'm typing. I'll, I'll, you don't have to really understand it, of course. All right. Uh, I am going. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add a uh, header. All right. And in, inside this, I'm going to add uh, background color, and I'm going to call this red. All right. And I'm going to copy this right here. There we go. Now I'm going to do nav, open close, and I'm going to paste that, but I'm going to change the color to yellow. Alright, next I'm going to do see, section, open close, paste that, I'm going to change this to blue, I'm going to do a side, open close, I am going to change this one to orange. Let's see. Oh, I forgot art article. Um, paste that in there. Let's see, our section was blue, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Um, there we go. And then last, I've got my footer. Paste this, and let's do. Uh, purple. I'm gonna save this. I'm going to switch back over to my HTML file and then I'm going to go to Firefox and run. Alright, there we go. As you can see, my the head of course is uh, red, so that is uh, the, the head element. And then I've got my link, uh, my nav element right here with my links. Uh, the blue is the total of my section. And inside my section I have an article element, as you can see with the gray. Uh, my side and my footer. And as you can notice, that these are all stacked one on top of the other. And you might be thinking, hey, my side is supposed to be like a sidebar or something like that. But you got to remember, HTML is just for structuring your web page. To do the actual formatting, you're going to use CSS, and we'll cover that. You'll learn how to move the side up and to the side, left or right side, however you want it. 
Okay, well this has been Lavic uh, with Geek Disorder. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video over the HTML5 semantic elements. Uh, please, if you do like our content, please like, subscribe, and share us. And uh, I will see you all next time. You all have a great day.